Hey up everyone and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers Legends and PTR mod. This is actually post Northern for the first time in a long time. Uh, current Northern, who was recording at the time, uh, sort of put the intro into the recycling bin whilst he was very high on medication. So I guess I've got to record a little bit to begin here. There's been like three minutes cut off from the first of this episode, but it's literally us just taking the contract down to Muktarhin after the orc contract just disappears from Newick. So all you've missed is us walking down here and finding uh, an arena contract. Hopefully we're just going to get a lot of money today and hire and get to the max amount of groupings. And hopefully not have a terrible time with it all. Let's get tuned in. All right, well, there's three next zeros. One of them is tier three. So let's see how much we, I say bungle this. I don't think we should bungle it. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe we will bungle it. Right, Korra go there. Lysandra stand there. Hopefully they'll go for your shield and attack. And he's going to roll five. That's cool, I guess. Subvert my expectations. And not in a fun way, either, game. You big bastard. Right, well, that's one at least. Pop up here. You pop there. Oh, you went for the non reposter Of course you did. And you, you got through, so... Ah, dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. At least you're running. Good stuff. Now, can you knock him back? And now pull back. And that way you shouldn't be able to eat anything this turn, at least. I don't think. And now pepper him. At least you hit. Ah, yeah, you hit as well. How can you not... How can you miss something so big? How can you miss something so big? The whole point was to make it so he didn't eat us. There you go. It's a bit better. Never mind. An attempt was made. Unfortunately, this was not the best attempt. Okay, let her out of your stomach, please. You have ammo. Not for long. Hiya! Good thing you didn't shoot her whilst she was trapped. Well, you leveled up. <coughs> Some wanky rolling there, but we're good. So, how much was that? That was like a wow, five grand, five thousand crowns. This is probably the most money the scrotums have ever seen in their lives. Like, remember, we're all lowborn at the end of the day, so you gotta recall that like this amount of money is just like e unthinkable. So that's nice. Okay, so let's get some food in because obviously we are a bunch of hungry, hungry hippos, and we always have and always will be. Uh, I think I'm okay for everything else at the moment. I was going to look at, like, dicking around down here whilst I'm down here, but there's only, like, one person on the entire list who actually wants to go for a southern background, and even then I might have to finagle it slightly. What have we, we got here? What are we, what are we working with? Seamstresses. Why is there a lumberjack down here? Hmm. Interesting. What else is down here? We'll retake the die maker. What, 710 crowns? That ain't bad. It'll, ne it'll never be a bad idea to side with, like, one of the city-states. And since this is, like, the closest one, and it has the arena, this is probably the best one to go for. Hunt down what terrorizes me. Oh, God, is that going to be... Ifrit. Ifrits. Ugh. Ifrits. Uh, day... What day is it? Day 61. Hard pass. Let me see what I can find. Let me see if there's anything worth buying here. Is there an alchemist? There's a weaponsmith. Can I get a whip? Oh, where are all the whips? Okay, so in the interest of making, like, sort of semi-friends with Muktarhin, I am going to go and deal with this burned-out ruins. Also, you'll notice on 26, I did actually weirdly find someone down here, which I wasn't planning on finding down here. So this is Rogar. He is a lumberjack. I mean, he's got a cleaver currently, but I am going to get you an axe and kit you out a little bit better. Your general, like, talents and stuff are okay, I suppose. You might have some pretty good melee defense by the end, what's it saying? 32 is 32 is not bad, plus when you take all the perks into account. And then you might get to 95, maybe that's, like, the top end. Uh, so we might get to see a good two-handed axe person out of you. Take strides and take after Lysandra pretty please. She's doing a pretty good job. If you're anything like her, you'll be an absolute monster. Anyway, let's go secure this ruin here. How how does Muktarin foresee us currently? I mean, it's still cold. God, everyone hates us peasants, don't we? Look, we're not like indebted slaves, you know. We actually are our own people. Anyway, let's go recover this. Please don't be spiders or ifrits. Uh, what's it gonna be? Explains the indebted set themselves upon everything available. Oh, so it is actually the indebted away. Fine. Come on. We're apparently slavers for a day. 
Or we're just catching slaves. We're not actually catching them, we're killing them, technically, but, you know. How much do we... 357 crowns a day now, that's, that's quite a jump. Oh, of course they're playing me like this, you silly bastards. I think that's a pretty just a general solid one to get. So you know what? Let's just try and get to 10,000 crowns. Getting over the 10k mark and then st staying over it is a pretty good sign that we're pretty self-sufficient in a sense. These guys are faster than I'm expecting. And I don't want to go in there. You you're going to make me waste my entire money chasing you. And then I've also got to run out of food. They're playing the long game and it's really annoying. Get over here already. I'd also love to finally find a bloody proper whip today for Eric. I feel kind of bad for him, honestly. Like, the amount he's not... I mean, don't get me wrong, he has definitely killed people, but the amount he hasn't been able to do because of that. Hmm. I suppose we could probably get some composite bows from these guys and then utilize those. There's a lot of archers. I am not I am clocking. Them is also Saba, the Prince of the Sands, who does have a 200 cleaver, which I could technically now give to Eric for the time being, if I really wanted to. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like 10 of them. 10 of them arranged. That's wild. Can you shoot any of them from where you are? No, they're just slightly out. Just slightly out. Go over there, Rockets. So you two can play that game with that ability. Did you hit me in the heads? You might as well have them. Right, we're going to have to move up a little bit slowly then. Because they've obviously got the missile superiority. It'd be kind of weird if they didn't, you know? Right, off you go. The shield's up and march. That's who the formation. Hey, Captain, your helmet's not fixed yet, I'm noticing. Ooh, that's blocking sight. You could probably use that, Billy. Use that to your advantage. Also, don't just go with him. Schmidt, don't get shot in the head. That's the only thing I'll say in that regard. We, uh, our armor has not recovered as quickly as I thought it was going to. Uh, hey Mo, your ass is hanging out, but hey, what can I do? I'm, I'm pretty sure your ass is probably always hanging out. Lady, off you go, just so you can pull Miasmic that way for the Warden. Slappy, get in there. Get ready for the Arrow Onslaught. Um, that's fire. They're firing fire arrows? Well, that's not cool. If anything, it's pretty hot. Ah, uh, they're just going to reorientate for days, aren't they? Corvo, try and force them to not do that. Elias, can you shoot one of them? This is going to be a rough and tumble, isn't it? Rat's on fire. So feel feel bad for our boy here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, swing in. Okay, we're in. Kind of. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Th thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Okay, at least he's locked down. Uh, Linus, get in there, my son. Can you get there and do the whole wibbly-wobbly? There you go. Hiya! Oh, the sand. The bloody sand. Can you get there and stun him? Hell yeah, good job. Right, then, we now need to get in there. Basically lock them down from doing any jiggery-pokery with archery. Okay, well, at least they're not doing that well. There. Yay, he hit something. Good job. Not that he doesn't hit, but just been very unlucky so far. Chill with that rock slinging. Right. Hey, Mo. Like, hold that thought for a second. I'm just trying to figure this out a bit. Move up one. Not this time. God, not this time, apparently, either. Lucky. Lucky. Bloody hell. That's one, you don't burn a ghost and not get the repercussions. There's a story somewhere in there. Shovel time! Supremacy's back, baby. We'll see. Not the damage on the lights. That's the damage I'd like. There it is. 
Finally, we hit the guy. Jeez. Stunned again. I can see where this might end up going, and I'm here for it if it does end up going this way. Do you have a knife? You do. Uh, hold that thought for a second. Just keep them covered. Oh, Hamo's going on a rampage with his shovel. Let's see if he lives or dies. Let's hopefully he lives. There's still some more stupid stories to hear from Hamo, no doubt. Oi! I think there's not many of them that can actually fight back now, in terms of ranged. So we might get some good stuff out of this. I'd like to think. Yeah, you've clearly wasted all your AP doing that, right? Ah, you should use a superior cleaver. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, you're a bit too out now. Maybe move forward then, that's fine. Come on, ghost, get out of the fire. Hamo! Oh, Hamo. He tries, our kid, he does. That's to be fair. Shovels are gonna fail in this round. Unfortunate. I mean, everything's gonna fail in this round. <laughs> Unfortunate. Bloody, I didn't mean it. Do you have a... Wee dagger? Okay. Come on, Slappy. He's basically gone. As is he. And now he's gone. Right, we need to stun him back to oblivion. You're probably gonna bleed out. You're lucky to be alive, mate. <sighs> Try and keep his armor. Not this time. Boris? Good kill. Ah, oh, Miasmi. Great kill. Oh, no, we haven't stunned him this time. That's what I was afraid of. Can't even hit him now. Uh-oh, he's gonna get a turn. I didn't agree to that. Okay, Hamer, what can you do for me now? <laughs> it's funny. It really is. The game really blue balls Hamo. Anyway, I thought he was going to get shot accidentally then. And I was like, man, this game has no chill for this guy. Nice. There we go. Can't stun him. Ain't stunning him this time. His go is coming up. I'm a little bit concerned about that. See how he does. Great blocking, Wayne. Good job. I'm sure he was put off by something he was looking at, no doubt. In that case, then I might actually have the... Maybe have a chance to stab him down for his armor. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right, go on, get in there. Uh, do you have a wee dagger? You do have a wee dagger. Wee dagger. Do you have a wee dagger? You don't. Go kill those guys. Uh, Corvo could probably get in there. Uh, Schmidt, as long as you can get around safely, that's fine, which you can. I mean, cheeky prod, but it's not really going to work. Stun him. Okay, he's stunned again. I feel kind of bad for what I'm doing to this guy, but it's definitely the right way to deal with him. Might be able to catch these guys unawares slightly. How's your armor? Not great. Can you get there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's happening. Okay, good job. I think these guys are too far away to shoot now. Yeah, they are. Don't worry about it. Uh, Magic, I assume they're going to be just out of range. Yes, they're just out of range. How about you? Yeah, unless your initiative goes and pops off in the next one. Right, then. Time to uh, shank him to death. Sorry, Saba. You're going to be the first example of someone who gets absolutely shanked for their stuff. It will... Prove useful. Do not worry. All right, Hirsty, fine. Get in there. Just don't die, please. Corvo! Corvo! Nice. Right, I should get something nice and juicy out of that, you would hope. Great job, honestly. Okay, Hirsty might be able to get some revenge here. He ain't going anywhere now. Okay, never mind. Apparently, uh, Rat was watching the entire time and found the best time to do it. That was good. That was, that was pretty good. Uh, nobody leveled up, but... We did get the two-handed scimitar, 
and we did get the mail with will now placing on southern males so that's like what 202 and we did get that helmet which is 200 that's almost 115 as well so i can work with that pretty good pretty good overall still no whips i could give some people some composite bows and i might give that to eric maybe just for now because he doesn't have a whip and he needs a better weapon i suppose you did say cleavers or and whips so I'm not going to get back before I run out of food. I mean, I've already run out of food. I'm not going to get back before midday, so everyone's going to get whiny for having no food again, aren't they? Oh, we only ate four hours ago. Please feed us. Oh, hang on. Might get there in time. Shut my mouth. I didn't say anything about people whining about not having any food. Right, let's get let's get the food in. Oh, to be fair, it's all, it's all spenny. It's too spenny. Okay, well, so basically still on the same amount of money that we were when we started the contract. I would say that was definitely worth it just for the sheer amount of extra armor we managed to get from them as well. I can just sell those old bows as well now, so that's quite good. Uh, in terms of food-wise, I mean, we've got a bit, but food's so expensive in this town. Is there any... No, I guess I'll keep them. I have given Eric the two-handed cleaver, as I mentioned, but I have put the whip in the background. I will get you a better one when one comes around. I think I might use this time to... How far away is the next one? I mean, it's a bit of a walk, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I mean, I could just go across the sands and get to Taif. I just want to, like, map out the uh, the world a little bit more. So I might use this time whilst we're down here to just quickly nip to Taif and Air. And then work our way up, back up through Dawn and hope to find... Well, apparently only one more person, but we'll see who survives until the end today. Oh, there's only like seven people here. I was expecting this to be like a super duper full on camp, but uh, I guess we're raiding this place for its food because you can kind of guess. I don't even need to say anymore. I don't even need to say anymore. It's a good thing we like exercise and fight all the time because we would be pretty big otherwise. I know that, um, what's his face? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Big hairy beast is one big man. But we'd all be the exact same if we didn't, like, fight and die all the damn time. I say die. Oh, well, time to loot them. Uh, we really need to look at your helmet getting fixed because you're not wearing one currently, and that's dangerous. Eric, let's see how you do with this new weapon. Wow, they really just ran at rat, didn't they? That's what I wanted you to do, you fools. I'd say he's a liability, but he's actually been getting a lot better lately. Huh. All right, then. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. They've kind of ran at us. I assume they've gone, we're so outnumbered, we we would need to charge them to even have a chance of surviving. I guess? I guess. Hey, don't... Oh. Lucky. Unlucky. God, already running. Coward. Uh, Schmidt, and you go, I think you're more or less back to full now. You've also got a bit of a nice golden plate looking armor going on. It's kind of nice. Treat yourself and all that. You get on fire. Ha! <laughs> nice. My Jack. Right, hey Mo. Let's see what we can go do for you. I want him to get at least like one more kill before, you know, he sees Death's Door. <laughs> Don't worry, one day he will see Death's Door. But he'll probably greet it like an old friend. Maybe. Maybe not. Doubtful. Our survey says maybe not. Oh, Poor, poor Hamo. Please, somebody think of the grave robber. No? Okay. Huh. Woof. This could be... This should, this should have been closed and shut. Kinda. Well, okay. Alright. It's closed and shut for that guy. Hello. Eventually, he's going to get worn down. Like now. Glad to see the shovels are kind of working again. Kind of. I think I mentioned in Discord that we're just going to try and see how it goes with them. And if we need to reorientate, then we can reorientate. It's not the end of the world. Grab him. Nice one. Okay. Yeah, this is always going to be pretty easy. Hopefully they just have, like, food, or just stuff we can rip from them. Literally rip from them. Um, just so I can sell down the line. Make it a good payday, and that. Go on, let's clean up. Yay, got a hit. Oh, you got hit back. You gotta prepare for these sort of things, Hamo. That's how they get you. Look, 
your shield's gonna break eventually, buddy. Don't make me do this. No, you're making me do this. Okay, we'll do it the hard way. I'll keep hitting you till your shield falls apart. Or you run. Running is also fine. <sighs> Ouch. Uh, Eric? Yeah! Civvy Bloods. Uh, Jacob, get in there. He's gone. We're good here. Let's see if they've got any loot. Let's see if they've got any loot. They do have some. Did anyone level up, by the way? Nah. I mean, I, well, I wouldn't expect it. They've got a bit of food. They just have some crowns. Kind of made it worth it. Uh, signet ring. I mean, I'll take it regardless. Busting locations is fine. Um, how much food? Oh, God. I have 14. I think I'm going to need to camp to hunt. How many people are currently on this? Four people. Four whole people. I'm going to have to send more people. Linus the Mason is stalking a campfire with Corvo standing nearby. The thief is mulling a question over. Hmm, what was the hardest to break into? Well, vaults were the easiest. Let's get out of the way first. I once stole so much from a vault, they tried to hang the locksmith for being so easily defeated by a common thief. They couldn't find the locksmith. For you see, I am no common thief, for the locksmith was me! Ha <laughs> ha! To answer your question, a tower is the hardest to break into. Especially a tower standing alone. I mean, we talked about the castle where he was like, I'll climb it. We were like, well, I'll just go inside and walk up the stairs. Sitting back on their laurels, the mason nods. Aye, thought you might say so. Towers be built for prisoners, of import or items of peculiar fancy. Lots of more than cages in the sky for creatures with no wings. But one time, a prisoner, some notorious fish thief, did manage an escape. He spent years upon years pulling out strands of his own air and tying them together until the rope was long enough for him to throw it out and climb down. They caught him a day later, unfortunately. He did the same trick again a few years later, but that time he roped it off as long and simply hanged himself instead. Corvo lass. That's interesting and all, but I'm a true thief, Mason, not a mere robber of fishmongers. My question is, how do I get into the tower? The Mason nods. Simple. Commit. A herring offence. Ugh. What a harangue. You guys, you're on latrine duty for that awful conversation. Okay, I surprisingly managed to get to Tayif just before everyone started complaining about having no food again. Oh, hallelujah. Right, it's rice for everyone. Rice goes with everything, so this is good. What do we need? 61 a day! We're not all gonna- we're not gonna f fail this game from lack of, you know, trying or lack of- I don't know, money, I guess. We're going to run out of it from people just dying from starvation just because we eat everything. Okay, uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. All that. I guess I'll keep one of those. How much is that worth? That's okay. All right, I'll get rid of that crap mace as well. 4-2. Not bad. Let's see if there's anything worth doing in in this... Hmm. Shifting sands. No, no. No, no. Not interested, mate. And that's going to what? Wagenheim? How far is that? The 1500, 1600 technically. Where's Wagenheim? Ah, shit, that's miles away. Okay, well, that's not ideal. I guess I'll keep going to air and hope for the best. Okay, there's not really much going on at air or air with all the eyes in it. <laughs> that was probably the worst thing I could have ever pronounced it. But, um, I have had a scene, I have found something of a bit of a pleasant surprise, I guess. You'll notice we're at max people now. So I did find out that you can actually hire Manhunters, because um, I didn't realize that Manhunters counted in the Lowborn background. So that's nice. So now I would like to introduce uh, Kimoratar. Originally, he was supposed to be in the Northern Raiders playthrough, but unfortunately, we didn't get to him in time. So now he will be in uh, this playthrough. And like I said, I'm trying to prioritize the people who didn't get in last time, first and foremost. Uh, but that does take us up to 27 out of 27. So now there's going to be a lot of people out there just going, I hope some people die this episode or next episode so I can get my people in, I imagine. So that's going to be very interesting uh, back and forth. Anyway, he's here. Funnily enough, I do have a whip now, but I kind of want to use it for Kimor, or Kimor, or however you pronounce it. So I guess I'll keep it on him for the time being, and we'll just use Eric like this for now, until I get a good whip I can put in his pocket and utilize that, so that'd be quite good. Uh, since there's nothing going on at air, I am going to take a contract quickly to go and deliver something at Sandfell so we can get a bit further back up. And then I'll try and find some really hefty contracts to try and get as close to 10 grand. Let's play a little bit dangerously for the rest of this episode. Although when we get to Sandfells, I'll probably do like a camp event and sort of 
deal with that. And we're now costing like, what, 400 crowns? Almost 400 crowns a day, but there is 27 of us, to be fair. And now it's 93 provisions a day. So, it was noted that, where are you, you cheeky little bastard? There you are. So, where's the perk for Quartermaster? So, it reduces food consumption by one for every mercenary. So, that would take it down by, what, 27, I suppose? Um... Which would make a hell, and I mean a hell, of a difference. So I guess Rat will really be going into the old uh, cooking world. He's going to be like a chef by the end of this. Like when everyone eventually retires, like Rat just becomes a chef. It's getting a little bit too close to Ratatouille. <laughs> Maybe on the nose. Man, we ate a lot of rice. Like, rice was the aim of the game and we pulverized it. Okay, cool. Give me some fresh fruit. We need a bit of a break from rice. Everyone's probably shitting very weirdly right now. Not that I've ever had to think about that for the truth, but... I just did, so all of you now have to think about it. Ugh. Scrotum shitting, and not out of the scrotum either. That's even more disgusting. Anyway, let's move on very quickly. So, there is five contracts here. That's quite a lot. Uh, that's Linworms, isn't it? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Fuck off. Anyway... Let's have a look here. Ah, this is more... Dark Shroud's Coven. Where's that? Is it somewhere nearby? Okay, that looks very, uh... Necro Savanti. Interesting. That is just going to find somewhere. Nightmare Coven. There's a lot of covens around here. Bell Rope Meadow. To the west. Where's Bell Rope? Is it super far? Where? I don't know. Am I... Blind. Oh, right. I'm not sorry. I'm not walking that far. Like, I'm all for going to go find some easy stuff, but that's a walk and a half. Uh, and that's going back to air. We literally just come from there, and you'd have to pay as much more, and that's destroying an orc encampment, right? Hmm. East of Damwall. Damwall's up here, right? So it would be here, but then we could then hand it in. Okay, let me see what I can do here, and then I guess it's going to be a lot of perusing around. I just need to get this. I'd like to get this, like, at least, like, I don't know, 6k. And finding another famed item would be really cool. One a day. Uh, one, a, one an episode going forward. That's probably unlikely. Okay, well, this is a grand. It might be a case that we can just slip in, grab it, and run. Or we might have to fight the undead. And I mean, like, or ancient auxiliary undead. Or necros events, which I don't think we're quite ready for. But uh, I'll see what comes out of it. Ah, we've been rumbled. We have been rumbled. Did we grab it at least? So we found it. I always find it quite comical when we're walking back with, like, the sad retreat music. And I'm just like, don't be sad. We tactically retreated. We got what we wanted. We don't need to take unnecessary fights, especially when everyone would probably die to all the pole arms. We're just not ready for that level of pole arm tomfoolery just yet. But one day. Anyway, that's a thousand crowns right in the bank. We're back at three thousand. I should be able to do that to 313. I mean, that's it could be worse. <laughs> Just the hat. Um, let me see if anyone... Oh, no, I can't. I'm, I'm full. I'm full up. Saws, Governor. I've never said Governor. I never will again. Um, I can't hire anyone else right now. Weird. Okay, well, I guess was, we're just kind of like trucking along now. Uh, let's see what other mess we can get ourselves into then. Okay, I might have found a relatively lucrative fight, which is a bit weird. Um, it might be suicidal. I don't know. It probably isn't, actually. But there's only six of them. But... It's night time, one of them's an executioner, one of them's a leader. I'm seeing some good um, armor and weapons we can pull from this. There's only six of them. There's like 22 of us. What's the worst that can happen? Also, I'm moving west of Sandfells now. Those other contracts aren't really vibing with me, so I'm actually going to go to Krakendorf, because I don't... Have we been to Krakendorf? We haven't, so I'm hoping something good comes out of that. If not, we can go to Camp Start. Last time we were at Camp Start, it was actually quite profitable, so I'm hoping for the best. But this one, though... Let's see if I can get some armor out of that executioner, right? Eh? Let's see how lucrative this actually is. It's going to depend on how much they just charge at us, to be fair. Uh, we'll also get to see Kimorata after the first time. Uh, let's hope his whip does us some good. At the very least, he can just throw his net down on one of the big kahunas, and we can just dagger him down into oblivion, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Can you shoot him from there? You can! All right. That's good. That's a good start. I'll take it. Oh, God, he... Well, all right. They are... Gunning it. Gunning it. Like, you've got no chill. No chill. No chill. Uh, Boris, go up that way. Sure. 
Ah, n nice try. Right, at least he's kind of on the way. I don't know what these guys are going to do next, so let's just be careful here, eh? Lissandra, go chase him. Rex, follow. Uh, hey, Mo, you know what? Yeah, go with him. Why not? Uh, Kimor, actually come down here. I could use your net and stuff. Slappy, go join the ranks. We're in down here. Why is that? Um, I'm not seeing things, right? He just too ranged with that weapon, even though it's a tier 3 spear. Right? Hmm. Something's fucky. Good job, Jacob. Keep him on his back foot. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It might be something that's just slightly different in uh, Legends or PTR, I guess. Right, you're gone. Good job, Rhett. Hmm, surprised he's not running. Surprised he's actually just going in there. Fair play to him. I'm going to give him some credit. Can you hit him from there? No, you can get down there, though. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? Why did you just get four attacks? That's not a... thing. What the hell? What am I missing here? Jesus Christus. What am I about? Well, got too busy for a turn, I guess. Still, though, I'm a little bit perplexed with what just happened there. Just a little bit. Christ. Right, he's running, at least. And he's stunned. Okay. Dive, dive, dive. Get him out of there. Are you okay, buddy? You just got stabbed four times random. I say randomly. It wasn't randomly. But damn, was it unexpected. That's what I mean. Gotta be careful of these scumbags. Oh, you, we've just absolutely decimated his armor. Oh, well. It's fine. Rather that than Captain dying. Crazy, though. Absolutely crazy. Never have I ever seen so many attacks on a spirit once. Also, it attacked at two range as well. So, that's going to be an interesting revelation if I manage to pick that spear up. I guess we'll see. Nice. Right. Clean up, gentlemen. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. Hey, Mo. Ah, one day. <laughs> he just gets flacked anyway. Oh, man. Can you disarm him? Not yet. The day may come soon, though. Damn. Execute the executioner much. Okay, he's running. Great. Sword. Sorted. Right, shovel time. Right, leave that to the... Dagging... Daggera people. The daggera people. I'm sure they can handle it. Keep you forgetting you've got a scythe in your pocket. How you doing? You're crazy. Man. Unlucky break. Well, for this guy as well. <laughs> Damn, Schmidt almost puts him in the ground straight away. Okay, let's clean up, Ben. But I was not expecting that amount of uh, array of attacking from the spear. Just goes to show how powerful the spear can be. Good job, Corvo. Take him to the cleaners. Come on, Hamo. Oh, he always he, li he always lines other people up to get the kill, doesn't he? Well, at least the shovel brothers can get a kill together, right? Did anybody level up? Jacob actually leveled up. So what did I get? So I actually got the fighting spear, which is good, and I got the armor. I didn't get the mace, though. Oh, that's really depressing. But at least I got a fighting spear and some slightly better armor. Well, I'll give that to Jacob, but I want to have a quick look at that thing, because it did some, and I mean some, damage. All right, in you go, Kimbo. Uh, where have you gone, bud? There you are. Also... No, no, I know that's his name. There are many like it, but that name is his. Let's give him some more health. I don't see a difference. I don't see a... A two-ranged. Unless he just had an ability, maybe. 
Weird. Well, Spear Mastery. Anyway, maybe someone out there can exp can let me know what the hell has happened there. Okay, good. Uh, you can give your old boar spear to Kimbo. I, mean, I need to get you a better helmet. I mean, the vibes are there. Especially the vibes are there. And 205 for that. So Wayne, minus 11, minus 27. God, 47 is not great. Um, let's maybe give that to someone else and then I can figure it out. Oh, God. No, no. No, no, it is like 400 days too early for that shit. Get the hell away from me right now. Okay, well, we got here. We, for once, didn't run out of food, which was a pleasant surprise to me as well, believe me. Um, we're doing kind of okay. I guess I'll buy some more. I think I'll always try and tip us back up to 100 just so we've got like a day and a half's worth. Uh, oh, God, the tools are so expensive. What have we got here that are good options for actual... What's this? What are we talking? What are we talking? C Doc, where's C Doc? Oh, have we been there? We've never been to C Doc. Can I get a boat to C Doc? Five hundred crowns says yes, but hmm. Okay, what's that? Nightmare Coven. That's the same contract from the other place, but it's a little bit closer now. Just not quite close enough to be profitable. And then this is going to Barbarish, which isn't actually very far. Seven hundred and forty crowns just to get there isn't bad at all and then oh wow hmm six thousand crowns would be game changing but it is hex and fights and also i'd have to camp around for a bit and there's currently a linworm group just like nipping at our heels let me consider this in the interest of keeping everyone alive and away from the six linworms which are literally like here I'm gonna go to Camp Start. The Krakendorf contracts do sound kind of tempting, especially with the whole, uh, not Lindworm, but the, um, why do I keep thinking Lindworm? Hexen. It's like five grand. So I might come back after I've shook the Lindworms a bit, especially because then it would get as much closer to ten grand. Right, so there's a contract to go to Wagenheim, which is absolutely miles away for one thing. There's another one for doing something just around here, so I'll probably do that. And then there's one for finding something. Where am I going? Northwest and around Whitestone Highlands. Where, where's Whitestone Highlands? Where's Whitestone Highlands? How much further do you want me to go here? I assume it's... That's Gold Mist Rise. I'm assuming it's like here. I'll just do the contract that's nearby, thank you very much. I'll get my payday. And maybe I'll go back to the other place and then... Hopefully... Grab one of the good contracts there, and the Linworms will have hopefully disappeared. Or maybe the 43 Militiamen will have killed them. I honestly don't think 43 Militiamen would be able to kill um, six Linworms. Marching along, a few of the men take up a game of finding shapes in the clouds. They banter back and forth about dogs and fat women and even at home. The fun takes a wild turn when Linus of Ravenclan sees one odd shaped cloud that brings him to his knees. He cries out that it is a bad omen. This cloud and the doom will soon be upon the company. Thankfully, the fear does not grip the rest of the company, who, instead of trembling, soon start bickering over whether or not the cloud is truly representative of Corvo's impressive endowment. Well, alright, it's canon now. Corvo's got a massive cock. Um, and I thought only children had such silly fears, Linus. I know you sold yourself out to a witch at one point, but there you go. Um, deal with it. I'm sorry to say, I'm still not paying off no matter how many times you tell me that you've got problems with a witch. I'm not doing it. Also, I, I do realize I haven't done a camp event yet. I'm going to do this contract and then we'll probably do it outside of camp start. Because, you know, it's got camp in the name. Okay, relatively fair fight. Bit of a weird to do this in the desert against a group of northern, well, northern groups, I guess. Uh, I have given Boris's axe to Rogar for this fight just so Rogar can actually get involved for once, so that'll be nice to actually see him in action. You're running away. You little scumbag. Don't run away. One, two, three. You've only got, th what, three bows? That's not exactly... I was gonna say Mr. Superiority, but then you hit me, so... I'll shut my mouth. I'll shut my mouth. This will at least get us back into, like, the three and a bit grand area. Uh, I don't expect to get anything too crazy from this fight, although there's some some weapons I could utilize. There's some armor I could probably utilize as well. Are they really not going to come and get us? Am I really going to have to come out go over there? Is this what you're doing to me? Find them. Find them. God, they've all got throwing weapons, but they've all got quick hands as well, so charging them, whilst, yeah, okay, would make sense. They're just going to switch to their other weapons anyway, so... Meh. Okay, well, the hound still isn't moving, which suggests they're technically not on the assault, per se. Great blocking. 
Oh, Cora, amazing. They're only getting a chance of five to, to hit you as well, which is great. Fantastic stuff, honestly. Oh. Terrible throw, honestly. I wouldn't even rave out of ten. Okay, they've actually got a lot more range than I thought. Now that I'm, now that I'm looking at them. Man, you're not dead. Okay, you killed one. Just not the one I was going for. Have I kicked the bee's nest yet? I would call it a hornet's nest, but they don't they don't deserve to be called hornets. No, they do not. Uh, Billy, let's uh, flip you in. Eric, get ready. Hilma, go there. Let's try and get their attention a bit. No, we already do have that. There we go. Let's go. Billy must have a surprisingly good range of defense, or they just suck. Actually, you know what? Your range of defense is alright. I just wish you used your melee attack more. It's fine. Kimbo's gonna give him a good old stabberoni. That'll do as well. Right, Linus, down and around, please. We're rocking and rolling now. Let's go. Let's go! No, don't kill the... Don't kill the cook, we need him. Like, legitimately, we really do. Ooh, well, there goes the armor. But that's fine. Hiya. Right, Hamo. Come up this way. Let's see what you can do, Mr. Kimor. If you hit him in the head, you'll do some serious blade damage. That's what I'm hoping for. Like a whiff man with a higher chance to the head head hit would be pretty gnarly. Not in like a Tony Hawk skateboarding sense either. They probably didn't like <laughs> Nobody liked that. It's like a Telltale game. Nobody liked that. Get turn. Okay. How about disarming him? Eh, no, just make him more tired than I guess. Man, those arrows don't do as much as I would like. Eyes up, you bastards. Alright, okay. Rat! Nice! Save yourself! Magic! Woo! Okay. A better thrower. Bro! Really? Okay. Guess we've actually, we've actually got some competition going on here. Oh, here comes the... Are you kidding me? Moran's on one health. What the hell? That's nuts. How did that happen? He's dead. He's straight up dead. What the feck? Right, I'm going to have to check this. Hang on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Chance of 68, really? That high. Chance of 56. Chance of 59, he rolled a 4. And he rolled a 12. I mean, I'm mean, at 39. Yeah, to be fair, what he rolled, it wouldn't have even mattered if you had a higher defense. I think it still would have killed you. Damn! One of our great Cleaver people drops to the floor. And we're back down from full again. Thank you for your service, my friend. Damn, man. It's not really what I, it's not really the vibe I was going for with this fight. <sighs> God damn it. Right, you're stunned. Time for some angry revenge. Everybody just rage out. Just go go no go nuts. Go nuts. Yeah, like that. I mean, Kimbo maybe not running now like that, but hey. You do you, buddy boy. Oh, Hamo's angry. Hamo's gonna get it. Oh, wow, he scared everyone and then just got stabbed. Hamo, you madman. Control your emotions. Don't just run in there. You know what happened when Nathan died? I know you were upset, but geez. Think of everyone else for a second.
Okay, here comes the rage. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Destroy. Them all, ah. Oh. Couldn't even do it in the right inflection either, because we missed so much. Well, you're not using that anymore, buddy. All that. Don't even need to decapitate it, no, I'm just doing it out of spite now. Kimbo? Jacob? Crush him! Uh, can you get there? Not quite. Well, you can, but... Oh, you thought you got away like your friend. No, no, no. No, no, no. Can someone go and get this idiot? All of them deserve to die. Yeah, him will call a lot of blood on that one. Once again, this is me sort of going, hmm, might be a good time to get a dog. Maybe. Once again, big expense. I say big expense. It's not really that big of an expense. Ah, you got him. Good stuff. You've got no blood left, mate. Neither do you. Oh, well. Turns out you have some. Linus, get over there. Get in the... I would say the C. Hit him in the head. Hit him in the heads. Okay, don't hit. Just, just hit him in general. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. Kill this one in particular. I mean, Rogar didn't get anything. Didn't really get involved, but he's here. Buddy boy. Good job. Oh, man. Morin's dead. 26 kills as well, and he killed Husni the Rat. Well, thank you for playing, Morin. Your name will go down in the annals of the Scrotums for a long time coming. Pretty unlucky. I mean, obviously, the chance was sort of like 50-50 when he got hit like four times, but two of them were basically under 10, so... Very unfortunate with the way you went, but you will be always be remembered as one wild man with a cleaver. And I'm back down to and I'm back down to 26. I bet some of you are happy out there. Don't feel too happy about it. Well, it's the contracts that you don't expect to take out your men. Usually you go, oh, this is going to be a crazy one because it's Hexen or Lindworms or whatever. I'm probably going to lose one or two people. It's not the ones where you're like, oh, I'm just going to go kill some bandits. I'm not going to lose anyone on that one. At least you expect it. You never know. The way of life, as it were. Hmm, kind of a bit too uh, depressing to do like a camp event now, since one of us literally just died. Maybe I'll wait until I get to the next town. Let it settle a bit. Oh, holy shit, how much money? Okay, so 4,000 crowns, 690 per head, so that'd be like, what, 690, then 12, 1380, quick maths? So then it would be 5,530. Okay, that sounds good. How far is one for? Well, I, I kind of know where it is, but what's like the long route to it? So up here... Through Newick, that'll be nice to see, I guess. What we are in terms of wealth, 75. You disappoint me, Newick, and you, I, I think you always will going forward. Then up through it here in turn and Husnarborg, and then it's down to Windfall. Ooh. And how many days is that technically going to take? How many days does it say it's going to take? Five days. And we cost, what, 300 a day? That's like 15, well, it's more like 400 at this point. So it's like two grand. So then we'll probably make about three grand on it. And we can also use that time to get over the just most recent death at the same time. I guess that's viable. Okay, screw it. We're doing it. Give me money. And that is also if we get attacked by X amount of people, which we, we might. I kind of want to get attacked by at least 20 people. Not at the same time. They don't need to attack us at the same time. They can just let us, you know, vibe through it. Either or. Okay, well, that's a bit weird. 26 brigands just appeared, but they attacked us whilst there was, like, a group of peasants around, I think? So this is going to be a bit of a rough going for them, I hope. You know, as much as I like that the peasants have come to help us, they might actually put us at a disadvantage. Yes, I know we've got 19 pe more people, but they're going to run in there because they're peasants, and they're probably going to give them the advantage because they'll feel pretty good about killing peasants, you know? So we're going to have to see how it goes, honestly. <laughs> But I'm a little bit worried. Uh, let's go. Let's get chanting. Doesn't look like they're going for a run. Unfortunately, they also look like they're going for a run. So, we've got quite a fight on our hands. 26 is nothing to gripe at, and there's a lot of raiders. Like, none of them. I don't see any thugs anywhere. Oh, wait, is that a thug? That might be a thug. 
But everyone else is either a raider. Oh no, is it? Okay, there's at least two. Oh, you're spoiling me with two thugs. Ooh. And they've ran in, taken my space. Not, not my space. Tom would be very unhappy. Um, but now we've got a bit of a problem. God, is that it for... Well, that sucks. Can we kill 67? You're on like, what, one health? Thanks, you should have just dropped dead, buddy. I miss the missile superiority of the uh, wankers, let me tell you. It's been a hot minute. Ah, the days. As the days go by. Okay, there's a lot of people just wearing t-shirts, so I might be able to utilize that to my advantage, but... The fact that those peasants are going to run in, that's something, I guess. The peasants are going to run in and get obliterated because they've got no defense whatsoever. As they as they won't, because they're peasants. All right, come down here, Rogar. I don't want you to die in, like, your first fight. At least he's stunned. Uh, Schmidt, come down this way. Corvo. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Ah, that wasn't great. Anyone you can whip? I mean... Yeah, it's not really doing all that much though, is it? Uh, Hamo, get here. Here come all the crossbow fire, no doubt. Are they going to move too much to fire? Okay, good, but they're probably going to fire at the very start of next turn now. What are you guys doing back here? I need I need these caravan hands. These are the ones that might save us a bit. Alright, up, oh, come up here. Rat, can you get here and attack? Oh, man, that's happening more than it should. Be a lot of... A, a lot of misses, actually. Not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah, they should hit. Who was that? Was that just another... Was that just another peasant? No, just, they're just filling in the ranks. This is what I mean. We're going to lose them like nobody's business. They're going to become ultra-confident. And then we're going to... It's going to be even harder to hit them. So, if anything, this fight is much harder than it should be. Unfortunately. This is what I mean about their morale. 61, 36, 61. Cool. They're out. Get ready for the fire onslaught now. Okay, at least that was lucky enough. The rangers seem to take like a very long time to move on their side. I don't know if there's some weird AI thing that goes on with the mods where it makes some AI like take forever to take a move. Very strange. Okay. I mean, yeah, attack the ghost, go for it, like, of all the people. Can you disarm him? Oh, you can, you beautiful bastard. And you can whip him, to be fair. Okay. 47 and 20. 22! Okay, Eric, beautiful. Very good. Shield up. Man, that's a lot of armor. Ah, oh, piss. This is what I mean. These raiders are... are feeling pretty souped up. Like, I don't remember raiders being this, like, powerful, really. But maybe I'm just misremembering. That's... that's some armor. Straight up. 38. 69. There you go. Nice. Here come the crossbow bolts and the fire, the fire arrows. I think we can do that now with someone if we if we do aim shot. I think. I have to double check. I mean, that's fair. They're like us when we're fighting pe when we're fighting peasants, <laughs> kind of when we're fighting bandit rabble, which doesn't happen anymore because apparently the game thinks we're too good for it. It's too weak for our blood. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Hey, Mo. Hey, they're shitting. 64, 67. Oh, right, right. Good job, buddy. Good job. God, that's doing nothing. Glaive is staying in the back a bit. Ah, someone else has got shovel supremacy. He might die soon. <laughs> he might be on his way out. He can't even hit a guy that's running. Useless. Bloody useless. That's clutch, actually. 
God, these peasants should have stayed at home, honestly. But well, thanks for making them feel good about it. 73. Right, he's dead at least. Can't say we're not trying. We love a trier. There's not really much point shooting at these guys, though. Like, wh where do you want me to shoot? Eh, alright. See you later. Here. Oh. Right, he's running at least. Okay, so these two are kind of... Bloody hell. Unlucky peasant much. You... It is slowly going through. Like, it's slowly, slowly going through. Ah, oh, Yurton, you beautiful bastard. Right. Nope. Right, he's running. Good. Good. Dodge. Wayne. Now, he's already running. So, Jacob, get in there. Right, he's definitely gonna go down. He's definitely gonna die now. Keep your shield at Linus. You are in... You are deep in enemy territory. Good smack. There he goes, the peasant. Again. It's still very, like... Well, neck and neck's not quite right, but... It could go either way, you know? Well, not either way, but it's... Danger close, Will Robinson. Danger close. Billy, I don't really know where to put you right now, because they're, they're feeling pretty good about being alive. Who got him? Is that Cora? I think Cora got him. Good job. Ah, oh, screw it. Oh, no! Why was that chance so low? It's just a farmhand. Don't shoot Slappy in the face, you little dick. On the plus side, if and when we do survive this, there's a lot of good stuff on, on offer here. And also, we'll get all the heads that we need. Never need us another head for this entire run. So we'll get a pretty good payday. You did a lot of stuff then, bud. I'm intrigued, but also I'm just going to kill you anyway, so... Well, that peasant's gone. Mad Jack will seal the deal. He's not in the business to bury him today, though. Wayne's going to take him out. And also take out the raider, almost. Okay, Lysandra's just made all of them. Aw, oh, you little monk bastards. Rogar, how much... Right. I'll tell you what, buddy. This might be dangerous for a newbie, but... I'm going to trust you on this one. Alright? I'm going to trust you. Great stuff. Keep it up. Come on. See the light at the end of the tunnel now. Kinda. We just need to swarm them on the other side. I cannot hit that person. Just can't do it, our kid. Just can't do it. Can't hack it. Literally can't hack it. Ow! That man is on fire and pretty close to me, so please move away. You are actually a fire hazard. Kimbo! More like Akimbo. I mean, you're not wielding two different weapons, so it's not quite right, but... The sentiment's there. He's already stunned. Go fight someone else, you idiot. Ah, oh, there it is, Kimor. Nice one. Whip him right in the face. You love to... Ow. You love to, I was going to say you love to see it, but never mind. Yeah, this... I'm a little worried about. I mean, apparently Slappy's not worried about it. He just stabs someone three times. Bloody monks. You're as much of a problem in this run as you are in, in, in all the other runs. And it likes to remind me how aggravating you are. Right, you're probably going to bleed out. I need to now swivel. This guy. <laughs> oh dear. Right, see you later. Now the peasants are gonna run in. Hopefully not get themselves killed. Good job, rat. Show them your rat powers. Not that, that uh, that's a thing. That peasant's lucky. That peasant is very lucky. Let me tell you. Uh, do you wanna go help out over there? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. 
You're also gone now. See you later. Take him to the cleaners. Okay. Slappy might be able to stab this guy into oblivion. Get his stuff. That'd be good. Uh, Belendrin, are you a bit too far out? Let's see if we're going to shoot among them. Yeah, he shot one of them. This guy's not going. He's not le He's not leaving. Uh, Corvo, get up there. Kimbo! He's not running. Surprisingly. Oh, no. No, no. That'll, that'll, that'll do it. He should have ran. He should have ran. What can I say? What can I say? Right, you're out of stamina. We're going to need to look into that. You're also out of stamina. Right, Rogar, be careful. Took his armor off completely. Take that, Mr. Monk. Not that monk. Not... Oh, Schmidt is not interested. He's like, I must go find my son. Get out of my way. Billy's going to follow up. See him off. Right, that leaves... Technically three, but it's two, really. It's two. Good dodging, Rogar. Good dodging. Oh, man, okay. Oh, God, yeah. That weapon's gone straight into his throat. Someone can probably seal that deal off. Maybe even Rogar, if he's uh, if he's quick enough. That's it. I kind of feel sorry for this guy, but also, I really don't. Oh, we're not going to get the kill. Rogar, Rogar's going to get that kill. Good job. Good job. No, I think we're just a bit too far away. I think one of the peasants might get that kill, to be fair. Or not. Perhaps not. I don't think we're getting this guy. I think he's long gone. Okay, let's uh, let's clean up on that one guy, and then we're good. We got it. Wayne killed him. All right, we got a kill at least. Wow, what a fight. Not what I was expecting. See you later. Let's just call it there. Woof. Slappy leveled up. He did get a pierced cheek for his efforts, so that's fine. Billy also leveled up. Good job. Amo and Eric leveled up. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Kimo got his first kill. Kimbo, I think he's already had a kill, but good job regardless. I think Rogar has done pretty well as well. So what do we get? 105 armor. 120 armor. 220 armor. Some decent helmets. Damn, some really decent helmets. Uh, another boar spear. Some decent swords. Yeah. I'm walking away pretty happy from that fight. Not what I was expecting, though. Uh, we've got we've got our heads at least, so there's the payday. Thanks, all you people. Can I not go into it quickly? Let me see if there's anything I can quickly grab, slash sell, and then grab some tools more than anything, because boy, do I need them. Okay, well, the game seems to absolutely hate us today, because now we're against basically the Witcher's Hut, but outside. A lot of webnecks, a lot of frenzied diewalls, a shrat, some hex, like... I'm pretty close to, like, the main settlements where they should technically be, like, an ar a like sounding army, you know? But there isn't, because, of course, they wouldn't come out at the right time when we need them. Because why would they? Linus, you simp. Right, these caravan hands are going to need to help, because otherwise we're screwed. Like, straight up. Too far. God, the range. The absolute range on them. How about here? Injured? Not dead. Injured, not dead. That's dead, at least. Eric, you're locked down. Maybe we can just stun Linus? Perhaps? And an unhold. Are you kidding? And a bear! I don't think we're winning this. I think this might be it. Thanks. And a shrat. This is unnecessary. Doesn't help, but I can't hit for shit either right now. What the fuck, Caravan Hands? I know that she kind of turned sides temporarily, but you don't need to beat her to death for it. The Caravan Hands are going to kill Hilmer. That's insane. Never have I ever seen that before. Okay, Linus is back, at least. You ever thought about killing a bear with a knife? I haven't. So now it's what? A game of making them run scared, maybe? If we're lucky? Oh, friggin' hell. 
The bear's massive, though. We should be able to hit it, right? Surely. No? That's not a thing? It's massive. Massive. Right, that one's gone. Ooh. Very daring caravan hand jumping in there. You actually just killed Hilma. You struck her down. This made me feel much better. I don't believe that's happened. I've never seen that happen in like my thousand hours of Battle Brothers. Caravan hand killing one of our people just because the, the hex has taken over. Wow. What a weird... That's so weird. Okay. That had the vibes of that could have been worse, I guess. Don't hex. Okay. Well, he bled out. Black Bear's got all the health, understandably. Can't really whip a bear. Guess she technically can. Oh man, the caravan hands got biffed. Understandably at that point. Uh, Rex, don't laugh and cackle like that, you weirdo. Can't believe you've done this to me, game. I was having a fun day. <laughs> I was having a fun day at the office, and this is how you repay me. Keep it locked down. You come back here. At least I can only attack downwards now. So, Cora, I've just got to hope that your defense holds out. The bear is surprisingly not as... Why you don't dodge around them, just attack them. Okay. How much health have you got, Wayne? Not much. Hold that thought. Can't really get in there either, can you, buddy? Hang on. What are you attacking? Oh, you're attacking the unhold. Okay. That bear's still there. I don't know if, you, I don't know if everyone noticed. The bear is still there. Should have seen that one coming. At least the hex is gone. Ah, oh, piss. Is the bear tired? Nope. The bear is not tired. It will almost kill the dire wolf, though, which is weird. Right, surely the dire wolf is going to just bleed out and die, right? Please say that's the case. Okay. That's something. That's also something. Dear Christ in heaven. What is this? Oh god. Smith's gonna kill Mad Jack now. We've got a lot of friendly fire happening in this fight. A lot of it. Wayne, how much are you bleeding for? You mi- I think Wayne's gonna bleed out as well. What is this fight? Stun him? Right, go get her, please. Pissing hell! I hate her. I hate her so much. The bear's dead. By all counts, the bear is dead. She is also dead. Bitch. Right. Wolf, also dead. Wayne, I think you're about to drop dead as well. I think you're going to bleed out, buddy. He struck down. 
that that has scared Hamo into running. He did get away, though. Interestingly, he did get away. The Shrat's up next. The Shrat's probably going to do, unfortunately, Mondo damage, as you could say. Eric, kill the bear. That sounds like a Norse tale, if I've ever heard of one. Okay. That's something. Keep everyone's melee defense up, please. I need the axes up down here. Okay, that's also not bad. God, this has been one hell of a way to fill out this episode, eh? One hell of a way. That is so little damage, it didn't even come up on, on the, the damage counter. That is not a good sign. Let me tell you. How are you, everyone else doing? They're, they're doing. That's about as much as I can say. It's not really impacting the... Uh, I, need, I need axes. I need the axes in, like, now. But I've also got... So many big fish to fry. And this on hold is not taking a hint. Right. Wolf. Dead. Rogar, go help up here. Get in there. Oh, well. The ghost got hit, but you know what? That's fine. Our ghost face killer will live again. For now. For now. Can you stun shrats? You could daze them. Right, okay. Freaking owl. Hey, Mo up there. Lissandra down here, please. I need I need the damage. What a fight. This was this was incredibly, incredibly unnecessary for a fight. Like we already had a pretty rough one, and then this just got dumped on us. Good job, Bo Lendering. Great job. Hey, Mo, you're jumping in there, buddy. Sorry. And now we've got probably the biggest issue, a Shrat. Slappy. Good job. Cora. Keep up the damage, but not really doing as much as I'd like. You've got broken nose. Wall people, you're kind of okay. God, that did nothing. Move out of the angles. Hey, Mo! Hey, Mo! I mean, you hit it. Same with me, Asmic. We just need... We need our fatigue back. Right, Rex, good job. That Shrek is still looking pretty happy, though, to be here. Oh, boy. At least he's... What? Baffled? He's going for the ghost a lot as well. Ghostface Killer is doing as a solid right now. I need to get Lissandra in, but nobody's really the switchio group. I don't even really want to risk jumping in there. That's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. So now Billy's on. Well, not good time. Let's say that. I might be able to. I actually just saw a, a pretty interesting opportunity, so hang about. Not that wasn't the op opportunity, by the way. Switch out, Billy. Switch out yourself. Billy, and then Billy, go away. And he's now going back for the ghost again. Okay. Oh, and now Lissandra's in. So I can actually do some damage with the axe, finally. There it is. There's no point breaking the shield now. I might as well just go full ham. Please. Just go down. Please. The fact that he's still confident is crazy. I think that's insane, don't you? Right. Give everyone the boost they need. Schmidt. It's got to be on, like, one health. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Okay, so Billy's pretty banged up. So's Cora, so's Yurton, uh, so's Flowers, so's Eric, 
and Hilma is alive, but she is traumatized, and Wayne's got brain damage, which honestly is kind of fitting for Wayne. So I'm actually weirdly not that bothered about Wayne having brain damage. Hilma being terrified is not ideal, though. She's going to have, like, one resolve. Um, but at least she lived. Jesus Christ, game. What was that? Seriously, now. Could you please let me get to where I need to go now? Because that was not on. Okay, I think we're going to make it without any more interruption. Which is great, because we had to kill, like, what? 45 things, which were... Whew, an experience. The fact that everyone actually survived from all the way down south up to here is impressive. That's the most money we've ever had. That was an insane amount of experience. Everyone has leveled up. I mean, everyone has leveled up. So that was, even though that last fight was not what we needed, um, evidently it was worth it. Everyone is now treated, so they should be okay in a few days as well. I believe there was a lot. But fortunately, we were camping whilst we were uh, moving around, so we do actually have a decent amount of medical supplies. We definitely ran out of tools. Because you can imagine that everything got a lot broken. I do need to still go through our inventory from that first fight and figure out who to give what. Like, with some decent armor and arming swords, so I can look at doing that. Um, I think I'm going to camp. Because, oh boy, <laughs> we'll do that little event. And then I'm probably going to call it. And I'm probably going to do all this leveling up stuff by the next episode because i've got i've got 26 people to level up and it might take a hot minute some people might have leveled up twice look perks two perks two perks two some people level up twice that's crazy okay so let's go on with a camp event and then we'll do the roll call and then by next episode i'll level everyone up and maybe we'll found it number 27 and there looks like to be an okay contract to do a patrol here for which could be a bit maybe about 2600 crowns that might get us pretty close to 10 grand we did just deliver stuff so i don't know if there's anything worth buying here actually whilst i'm here for a hot second how at all 225 i mean yeah fine i'll take some i'm gonna i'm gonna have to that's the most food i've ever had i don't even have the warning to say we're gonna run out for once which is a pleasant surprise let me tell you uh but there's nothing else really here because the curse cloak was cool but damn is it expensive uh, oh, wow. I mean, it did not roll on damage. Is it a fencing sword? Ooh, there's a few people who do want to be fencers, but there's not really been any perks coming up that's very good for fencing. Oh, and then there's the whole uh, offhand dagger. Very cool. Anyway, let's get camping. Let me not, not drag this out too much. But let me first give everyone a drink. You deserve it. During camp, as the scrotums finally all let out a sigh of relief as they finally arrive at their destination of Windfall, the camp is sharply set up so any and all injured scrotes from the journey up can recover as quickly as possible. These past few days have been a true test for the scrotums, first losing a good friend in Morin, and then being constantly ambushed on the road as the scrotums help deliver essential goods to Windfall from far down south. You know the scrotums won't be in the best of moods for this today, you think, but even if it makes people lighten up slightly, the morale boost would be worth it. Well, let's keep it short, you state, as the scrotums sidle around, those injured given space and extra booze to wear out the pain. Let's hear it, Rogar, you're up first, you wave him over. He closes his throat before starting. Rogar was a lumberjack of a small village far to the east. One day, whilst out looking for good lumber, he stumbled upon a goblin camp. Unfortunately, unknown to Rogar, the goblins saw him and followed him back to his village and started to kill everyone. Rogar grabbed his axe and started to defend who he could and at the end of the night managed to save a handful of villagers, but he soon left as they began to rebuild to hide his shame. He then found himself in the southern lands where you decided to pick him up. Well, not quite the fun tale we needed today, but thanks for being honest regardless. You nod to him as he nods back and crouches back down to the next to the immobile Wayne. As you survey the group, you question who's even new at this point. Due to the sheer growth in numbers the Scrotons have seen lately, it seems that people only stay new for a day past before another head pops out of nowhere. Keyboard, you're a reaching addition. Let's hear it, as long as it's not seriously depressing. Your voice slides off at the end. It's been a bit of a week. Kimor stands and begins to speak. Kimor is, or was, a manhunter, and was a former member of one of the many slaver guilds that are prevalent in the south. He ran afoul of the guildmaster, but refuses to elaborate why, swearing to the guilder that it was not his fault, or that he didn't do it. Though, he knows full well it was his fault, and he did do it. 
Mercenary company of goody two shoes was just the thing he needed to get him out of the way and out of knife range. They'd say it'd keep him safe regardless of his past. Maybe he could even use him to get some revenge, haul his former gut boss off in chains, and take his position. A pipe dream, maybe. But he had to wish for something beyond gold, women, and wine. He stops before you step in. Did you seriously just say the quiet part out loud? I know we're trying to make the world a better place, but I won't go as far as to say we're the good guys. I prefer to think of us as the better guys than the last. You don't think I didn't hear the part about using us, you cheeky bastard. You need to learn that right first, put in some shifts and become one of the company, and maybe we'll consider bailing you out of your own life. You shake your head, slightly disappointed. This is supposed to raise spirits, not plummet them even further. Fine, Kimbo finishes off so we can all finally go to bed. You sigh as he stands. Kimbo is a young lad born on a small farm. He spent most of his youth working the land with his father and sister. They lived meagre lives, surviving on what little food they could keep after market day. Day in, day out, they worked and worked. For the most part, Kimbo is content with his life. He could eat and sleep in a sometimes warm house. However, one day in town when he saw the local lord hand a sellsword a hefty sack of gold, it got him thinking. What could a man do with that? He could buy more land for the family, pay for hired help to spare his aging father and little sister. The force plagued him until he had had enough. He told his father, of course he didn't like it, who would help him with the farm? Who would look out for his sister? He argued. They fought for days. Kimbo's mind was made, however. He woke up late one night and left the farm to offer up his services. He may die young, but he'd leave a fortune for his father and sister in his wake. Well, that's a slight improvement to those before you at least, as you wave everyone off. We all need to rest now. So after that, we're all a little bit more recovered. There is still some people being treated, but that's okay. I've still got like a billion people to level up, which is only going to be a good thing, because that means at the start of the next episode, we're going to be wildly more powerful than we were in this episode, which is only, you know, good. It was nice that we got to max people for a while, but then unfortunately we did lose more in the wild. 57 days, 32 battles, 26 kills. Pretty good, my friend. Unfortunately, he did die to a brigand thug, but that's just the way they w things work sometimes. Man, triple skill in melee as well. Or triple talent in melee. Damn, what a shame. Rest in peace, buddy. You will be remembered in the annals of the scrotums. Let's get on with the roll call. Next episode, I will get everyone kicked out with this stuff, and I will get everyone leveled up, so next time we should be in a pretty good position. I wouldn't be surprised if we see... Hey, I didn't say move. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the first late game crisis next episode. We're on day 74. It usually happens around day 80 to day 100, so it might pop off. I'm going green skin invasion. Let me hear your thoughts down below. Anyway, let's see how everyone's doing. So, Sandra, you're on 50 kills exactly. Wayne, you're on 17 kills, and now you're a little bit brain damaged. I'm sorry, I think you're probably going to look even more ugly now. Uh, Eric Scard, you're on 7 kills, and you killed a bear. You killed a bear, man. Linus, you're on 34 kills. Billy, you're on 38 kills, and you didn't die. Kimbo, you're on 2 kills. At least you're off the mark now. Cora, you're on 35 kills. Jacob, you're on 8 kills. Corvo, you're on 12 kills. Rex, you're on 7 kills. Kimo, you're on 1 kill, which is good enough to save you off. Hilma, you're on 37. Unfortunately, you have traumatized now. Uh, fortunately, hopefully the stars will manage that out. Can't believe the caravan hand took you out. Didn't give me a second just to, like, stun you instead. What a shame. Uh, Yurton, you're on 28 kills. Hamo, you're on 2 kills. Bolendrin, you're on 43 kills. Uh, Miasmic, you're on 7 kills. Schmidt, you're on 2 kills. Mad Jack, you're on 21 kills. Elias, you're on 15 kills. Rogar, you're on 1 kill, and you leveled up 3 times? That's nuts. Boris, you're on 27 kills. Kaftan, you're on 15. Big Harry Beast, you're on 9. Hursty, you're on 11. Rat2, you're on 30. And Slappy's on 44. So Lissandra's still leading the pack, but there's quite a few people not far behind her. And like I say, next episode we should really be able to kick it into high gear. I hope we find Mr. 27, or Mrs. 27, once again. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more than there that you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know the next time we're going to be going out with the Scrotums in Battle Brothers. If you can't wait till then, feel free to join the Discord, it is linked in the description below, and on the channel itself. There's a lot of people piling in now, and it is nice to see so many people we can now talk to uh, on a regular basis. It is nice to talk to some more Jolly Northerners down the line, so feel free to come and join in on that fun. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the Scrotums.